Hi guys and welcome back to Inside Investing and today we're going to be discussing five investment tips from Warren Buffett himself. He's known as one of the most famous investors in the stock market. He's also running Berkshire Hathaway. And today we're going to be discussing the five most known investment tips from the legend himself from Warren Buffett. So guys, sit back, relax and let's go. So guys, today we're gonna to be discussing five investment tips from Warren Buffett himself. His current net worth is around $93 billion, which is insane amount of money. You can't even imagine how much money this is. So just know that his investment tips and tricks will also improve your knowledge and your understanding of the stock market and will definitely help you out into being more successful within the stock market. So Warren actually runs Berkshire Hathaway, which currently owns more than I think 60 companies including the insurer Geico, as well as the battery maker Duracell, which you probably have heard of before, and quite a famous restaurant chain known as Dairy Queen. He's the son of a US congressman and actually bought his first stock at the age of 11 years old, which I honestly didn't know was legal by the way, but okay, that's what he did. And he filed his first taxes at the age of 13, which is way before I started ever thinking about taxes. He already did his first tax return, so that's very amazing. He's promised to donate over 99% of his wealth and so far he's actually given more than 41 billion dollars which mostly went to the Gates Foundation and his Gates Foundation which is pretty cool and he's doing that because in 2010 he and Bill Gates actually launched the Giving Pledge which is asking billionaires to commit to donating at least half of their wealth to charitable causes and if you then consider that Warren is actually one of the most wealthy people in the world and he's giving at least half of his wealth to charitable causes you can imagine what a huge amount of money that is and how big of an influence that has into making this world a better place for all of us so warren is actually still living in the same omaha nebraska home that he purchased in 1958 for around 31 thousand dollars and he's still living until this day he's still living in the exact same home which is pretty amazing to say that after 50 years of working that hard and making this huge increase in his overall net worth, he's still living in the same exact home that he lived in for the last 50 years. So that's really remarkable of him to do that. And next to that, he was also rejected from the Harvard Business School. So instead of going to Harvard, he actually got a master's in economics from Columbia University instead. And if you then look at the current stock value of Berkshire Hathaway, so the company that, that Warren runs, we see that it's currently valued at around three at 70,500 US dollars which is a huge amount of money and also leads into the huge market capitalization and huge value of Berkshire Hathaway as a company itself so that's very remarkable and you would then also see over the last 20 years how significant the growth of the value of the company has been so it's very remarkable to see that until today he's still working he didn't retire or so he's still actually working for his money and running Berkshire Hathaway so I think that's pretty cool as well and today we're going to be covering the five must known investment tips from Warren Buffett himself. So let's start with investment tip number one, which actually is save regularly. Because as Warren Buffett himself said, do not save what's left after spending, but actually spend what's left after saving. So you're not going to be spending all your money on food, on drinks, on let's say a new, a new jacket that you want or a new, new pair of sneakers. Now the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna be saving your money. So you're gonna be putting it into a savings account, putting it into a stock investment account. And after you've done that, then you can spend a, a few bucks on something that you like to do. But the first thing you need to do is set your money apart. So you need to save it. And that's actually what Warren mentality is as well. So Warren is a huge believer that people actually need to pay themselves first. If not, it's easy to pay everyone else and forget about saving yourself. So you're then only paying for the rest, right? You're only paying for someone else's success and wealth instead of paying for your own wealth. So one very practical tip that you can also try to do is use the automatic deductions to make sure you save or invest your money before you pay everyone else. So for example, you could set up within your bank account, you can say, well, each month on the 15th, so let's say 15th of March in this case, I want to automatically deduct $100 from my normal spending account. I want to put it in a savings account or automatically invest $100 into your investment account. Instead of keeping it in your spending account, use an automatic function to automatically invest or put it on your saving account. That's, I think, a very easy tip that we can all apply so investment tip number two is live below your means because even though warren buffett is currently worth more than 70 billion dollars 
he still lives in the exact same home as i mentioned before right so still in the same home that he bought in 1958 for around 31 thousand dollars and the next time you get a raise or a bonus for example you should not increase your lifestyle and increase your budget because that will just offset your raise so that's what you shouldn't do right you shouldn't be earning more and then also spending more no if you're earning more you should still spend the exact same amount of money each month and then the one thing that you can can do more actually is save more or invest more money that's where you should put your additional money right so if you you earned your raise you've you've put in some very hard work at your company or whatever right and you finally get the raise that you were hoping for you should use that money to invest and save more instead of then go out spending it go out eating one one day a week extra in addition to what you used to do now just keep your spending the exact same but instead of that save more money and invest more money and then our next investment tip is learn to make passive income because passive income is very important into increasing your wealth and if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep you will work until you die and that's one of the famous quotes from warren buffett actually it's often said that the average millionaire has seven streams of income so you can't always trade your time for money so you you actually need to establish a passive income stream to help you actually diversify and increase your income because if you don't do that how are you ever going to increase your overall wealth you can't so therefore it's very important to learn how to make passive income and there are a few different ways to start making a passive income a lot of them are quite difficult and take you a lot of time to set up but a few of them are also quite easy and one of the easiest ones might be just investing in a dividend stock so there are different companies that pay out dividends and if you invest in those stocks you don't need to do anything just holding those stocks and in return of you holding that stock on a frequently basis you're going to get a payout a dividend for that specific stock so that's a very very easy way of actually making passive income the second way to make your passive income is actually to publish a book or an ebook for continued royalties so if you write your ebook or your normal book just once you just need to write it once and you need to design your book cover etc you just all need to do that once if you've done that then afterwards you're gonna keep on getting sales from that book or royalties from that book and that's actually then after you've written it it's a passive income so you've set up your passive income stream and after you've done that so after you've written your book you've published it you're gonna keep on passively being paid out which is a very nice way of doing this as well and the third way is actually to create and sell an online course on something that you're very knowledgeable about so for example let's say you know a lot about sports or you know a lot about photography if you can make an online course on that on that specific topic you just need to design that course once so you just need to create that online course once but once you've done that and once you've published your online course it's a passive way of making income so so these are just three quick and easy tips on how to start your passive income stream leave a comment down below for any streams of passive income that you are currently trying to set up or that you've set up successfully in the past please share your experience down below in the comment section if you also want to start investing use our link down in the description to start investing today using the giro we are also currently investing using the giro and the giro allows for a very easy way of investing into dividend stocks so if you want to start investing today please use our link down in the description thanks for watching the video if you want to learn investing subscribe to get more free investing and finance tips and tricks we give you easy to follow straightforward suggestions on how to start investing and improving your portfolio like the video if you learned something new today and comment down below the topics for the next video so tip number four from warren buffett is actually to diversify your investment so when it comes to investing in the stock market i think warren buffett has a very simple advice to the majority of, of investors which is play the long game and warren buffett only invests in stocks that he plans to hold for a very long period so he's the definition of investing for the long term and doesn't actually believe in the short term trading his rule is to only invest in companies that he understands how they make money so if you don't understand how a company makes the money then you should skip it or invest in the market using an s p 500 index like we've talked about in our previous videos so consistently buying into a low cost index fund he thinks is the best thing that makes the most sense for practically all of the time so there's two suggestions that he makes in this tip so the first one is invest in a company that you know how they make money and if you don't know that so you don't know a company that you really understand how to make money and you think in the long run this company is going to be performing very well then you should just buy an s p 500 low cost index fund these are the two most important lessons learned here 
So if you want to invest in an S&P 500 fund, that would look something like this. We've talked about this in a previous video as well. So an S&P 500 index fund contains a lot of different companies. So Apple, Tesla, Facebook, Amazon, as well as Microsoft, all of these companies are included in one S&P 500 ETF. So if you just buy one of these ETFs, you're going to buy actually a small share, a small portion of all of these big companies, actually 500 different companies across the USA. If we then look at the performance of the S&P 500, we'll see that over the last decades, it's performed very steady. So we see, of course, a decrease during financial crises, such as the crisis in 2008, 2009. But still, if you bought in 20 years ago, you'd see amazing returns without you needing to spend any additional time into investigating, is this a good company or whatever? No, because you just know I'm buying my S&P 500 ETFs one thing i really like about buying s p 500 etf and on that part actually overall buying a well-known etfs is that you don't need to invest a lot of time on your daily basis so you're just buying it once every month you might do some research now and then to see if there's a new etf that you might have a look at but overall you don't need to read the newspaper each and every day and go through all of the financial statements of each big company and every five minutes look at the stock price go does it go up does it go down or whatever no because you can just invest in your s p 500 index you know that all of the big companies are going to be included in this fund so as long as you just steadily keep buying this fund over the long period as you can see right here the returns have been amazing and you can actually very easy step into these amazing results as well. This is actually also one of the most important tips of today. This is the most important tip that Warren Buffett has for the average investor, just buy an S&P 500 fund because these results are amazing without you having to spend a lot of time on a daily basis. If you then look at the overall holding details of the S&P 500, we see that a lot of big companies are included as we mentioned. So there's around 6.5% of Apple included, as well as Microsoft is very big, Amazon, Facebook, Alphabet as well. So Alphabet is the, the mother company, let's say the head company of Google, um, but also Berkshire Hathaway is included as well, which is quite funny, as well as Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble as well, and, and Nvidia Corp as well. So I think a lot of different big companies, well-known names, you can invest in all of these comp all of these different companies just by buying one S&P 500 ETF. So I think that's an amazing investment strategy that also Warren Buffett is a big fan of. So then let's have a look at tip number five, and that is find your passion. Warren Buffett is actually a very big believer in finding your passion. So he also said that at the age of eight years old, he already knew that he wanted to be an investor. And over the seven decades later, he's still passionate about what he does every single day. And a quote of him is, With Without passion you don't have energy and without energy you have nothing and I think that's very important as well so you should find your passion and invest into that passion because if on a daily basis you get more energy out of something than you put into it that's a very solid investment of your time as well so passion is actually the reason that Warren is 88 years old and still works every single day and to him it doesn't actually feels like work because he loves what he does and will do it probably until he can't no more and that's I think pretty amazing to say so guys if you also want to start investing please use our link down in the description to start investing today using the Giro we think it's a very good broker actually it's very easy to use they have a lot of different options as well as dividend stocks as well as S&P 500 ETFs so a lot of good options are available using the Giro so the link is down in the description where you can start your investment journey today so guys thanks for watching we hope you learned something new today if you did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and comment down below any topics that you want us to cover in the next video our next video is going to be about buying our first ever etf so if you also want to know how to buy your first stock subscribe down below so you don't miss out on the next video please take note of these five investment tips from warren buffett and we'll see you in the next one guys let's go